Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here. Now then, when we last left off, Deku and Bakugo therapeutically beat the shit out of each other. Hang on one minute. Alright, well, accident prone, I just answered your question. Anyways, that probably very, that probably confuses people, but he asked me when I was going to get to the start of the anime which I was going to try and at least get close to that area now. Now then, speaking of which, let me go over what's going to be happening. Deku and Bakugo had just fought, and now they are actually all being told by All Might they need to go on a training regiment. As he would buff down, he would say that, essentially, he only has his a 16 to 18 hour time limit a day. So, he is going to save a little bit of that time today. And coach them. As he tells them that they are now going to be working on their physical abilities. As Endeavor would walk in, he would uncoat himself from fire and actually tell them that it is a good thing that he has brought help. As a lot of men would walk in and they are carrying in a lot of heavy equipment. As they bring all this in, they would leave and they would not question who that tiny man was. Now, Inko and. Hmm, Inko and a lot of their parents did sign off on the fact that they could stay there for a little while. Along with Mitsuki, somewhat actually hasn't to do so. Because after the whole incident where he lost his hand, things kind of got a little more overprotective. Now, in saying this, they would all be training, and they would also meet... Ugh. Hmm. Never mind, that does work. They would also have to meet certain requirements. Basically being able to nail certain shots and actually do certain things, but them not stressing over missing or not doing them. But it just being recommended. So basically like a training camp. Inko and all their other parents could still come by, but usually they spent a couple hours a day training and working on quirks. This will continue for the next year until they would all be told that that is fine now. Now then, Deku, he would leave that day, and he actually does want to work on different abilities. So, he immediately just thinks, as he actually asks Karashima if they can go work out, or if they at least work on concrete. Karashima would understand this, and he would immediately drain some more concrete from the area, and, hang on, alright. They would immediately just drink concrete from the area, and also begin training. Garishima is telling Deku some tips that he's learned and actually been using, along with actually showing off one thing he has finally, finally, actually been able to master, as he shows off concrete thrusters. Basically the ability to fly using concrete. And if that's confusing, it's basically where you... The amount of force the concrete is going around you in, it's not only can you basically step on it or walk on it, you can basically slow your descent because the air is being forced, well, forcing your body go up. Now, he also shows off Boulder Dash in their latest fight, as he hardens his skin and immediately covers himself in armor, rushing straight at Deku as Deku would have to kind of counter with his own type of Boulder Dash actually learning, and getting a better hold on it. Now then, along with that, he also does show off a different type of special move. This is basically Deku. He would, uh, 
Actually, I don't think I did see the special move for Boulder Death. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to... Uh, I, can put, I can put this one in now, but I'll look more into that. Deku, he could immediately just bring, slam his hands down on the ground, and he could just pull concrete towards him as he pushes it downward, actually forcing it out. Basically, creating an earthquake. Earthquake. Now, that is actually pretty cool, and I will save that for later. Now, they would be doing this, and everyone's talking, and they're really excited. As, let's see, 11, 12, Deku would begin starting to master and learn a lot of different things, along with talking with Kendo about air, as it is one of the few abilities he has barely touched upon. He's gotten hold of the whole making sure his body stays together, but trying to use it in attacks is very complex. Kendo would go on showing him by essentially closing her hand into a ball into a ball and rapidly pulling it backwards, throwing it forwards as you as you force open your palm. As she would do that, and she'd actually punch a hole in the wall. Telling him that it's a bit weird to at first, but getting used to it's not that hard. As she also demonstrates by creating a tornado around her and actually flying up in the air. As she does this, her body somewhat starts acting like air and being wavy. Kind of like whenever, kind of like a hologram is the best way to describe it, kind of. But as she's doing this, she would also show Deku a special move she has. In their fight, she tells Deku to use Boulder. As Deku uses it, he actually tries to fight and defend against her, but she uses her special move. She calls this Rock Breaker, or just genuinely just Smash, where she'll bring her Sorry about that, guys. Just got interrupted. Anyways, basically, what this move is is basically her swinging herself forward, going over, essentially doing a front flip, coming up, and immediately letting loose and having all the weight in her giant hand smash forward. In fact, she uses two hands to actually smash through everything in front of her. Basically, making a more effective version of her attacks than in canon. Since she can basically increase and decrease weight just by wind power. Now, because of that, Deku, he's actually really impressed as she breaks through his concrete armor. And Deku actually does get... Oh, Deku actually does ask her exactly how she does that. She just says that it's pretty hard, but focusing on her quirk is somewhat easy. Since she basically just turns off the... Well, it's kind of hard to, but basically you just focus on your hands and just try and keep them solid. Keep your hands together. Otherwise, you might just... Now, whenever she says that, she actually shows, like, an explosion in her hands, so... Basically meaning you might just go everywhere. Now, as she says that, Deku, he kind of understands this a bit more. As he just says that that's pretty cool, but still, he may just have to work on concrete. Concrete and air right now. As he somewhat knows as much as Kirishima about it, he's thinking that he would just have a good time switching off with air. As he just begins air dashing home. The next couple months, they would do the same thing and actually have Deku master Boulder a bit, along with Getting a good grip on air. 
Now then. Let's see. I believe we're still a year and a half before canon. So, Deku, he would immediately just be really happy and excited as he woke up one day thinking that everything's pretty great. As he goes outside and he begins running. He actually has a good grip on his abilities and things are nice. As he runs to the rooftop, he would tag a he would tag something and immediately just run off. As he does so, he actually uses his wind ability and he actually does slow his descent while he is trying to parkour to another building. As he does this, this is one of our local hero. They would have at least seen Deku running on top of the roofs, and they would have actually tried to catch him. As Deku runs away, he would actually run into... Well, let's just say he runs into All Might, and All Might would just ask Deku what he's doing, and Deku would just say that he was on his way there, or he was just headed to school. But he's going to be late, as the hero would stop Deku, saying that he can't just run on top of the roof... All Might? Well, yes... Uh, anyways, I'll take care of this from here. As the hero would get somewhat super fangirly, they would immediately just jump back down to the streets and go back to hero duty. Now then, All Might is explaining to Deku that he just needs to calm down. He's not in trouble. Deku would just say that he kind of figured that, but it's still kind of just weird to run into you on this occasion. All I would say, well, yes, but... Listen, I know I told you that you just need to work on your abilities, and you've mastered four of them. Or, I, how good is your grip on air? Deku would immediately look into the distance, and... He would just say that it's fine, but... He's gotten a better grip on electricity. Oh, really, have you? Uh, well, yeah. In fact, I can do this, as he immediately just jumps down onto the power lines and begins just sliding on them. As he does so, All Might would just be leaping right next to him, saying that that's good, but just please stop right now. You are causing a scene. Okay, okay. As Deku would stop, All Might tells him that he would... He's not sure how this would work, but he has an offer. Um, what do you mean? I... I don't know how to tell people this, but... All Might, you'll be... It's fine, man. Okay, well, later All Might, as Deku immediately just air dashes straight past All Might and begins running. Deku would get to school that day, and he would actually be talking with people. Now then, as he's talking, they are actually all kind of confused as what All Might was trying to tell Deku. Deku would say he doesn't know, but it was pretty weird. But I do have some of a... I do know that my understanding on things are a lot better now. Uh, Deku, I did have one question. Oh yeah, what's up? That paper ability you have, why don't you ever use it? Oh, um... Well, I mean, it's pretty weird. Oh, come on, how weird could it be? Alright, alright, fine, hang on. As Deku, he absorbs paper. Let's say he absorbed the napkin he had, and his entire body would immediately just fall into a stack of papers. Everyone's confused and in shock as Deku puts himself back together right behind a, a person. As he taps on their shoulder and just says, boo. This is whenever, let's say, Toru immediately freaks out, and Deku would just start laughing. As the teachers would say that he can't use his conduit like that, Deku would just say, don't worry about it. Not hurting anyone. They would just scold him for a minute as Deku doesn't care. <sighs> he would just go on, stating that he's not sure what All Might was trying to offer him, but anyways, he's not really worried about it. As they would all be off once again. They would be walking to the different center, and they would immediately just hear another explosion go off. 
This is confusing, and people are even now more concerned. Because the one that went off this time was very close. No. Deku, he immediately runs off as everyone begins following him. This kind of confuses people because they see all these kids running into trouble. Deku immediately just runs in, and he sees All Might and Endeavor are both there. And this is another case where they have the X Spheres. Now then, or the Ray Spheres. Now, All Might is just telling the man not to activate that again, as All Might's actually coughing. Now, this is basically how people with conduits awaken. If you have an X sphere and you activate it, it basically sends out a very rapid pulse. This can injure and kill a lot of people, along with actually awaken the genes. Now, let's say these have been happening a lot lately, just not in their city, so the fact that it finally happened does not surprise people. Heroes were actually somewhat ready for it, as they would come in and take the main down before he can even set off a second burst. But he did awaken his fear. Well, his genes. Let's see. He would awaken... This man awakens his gene, and he immediately just starts running over to a busy, busy. Well, let's say there was a pet store nearby, and he immediately just starts absorbing the glass from all the tanks and stuff that the pets are in. As they all start breaking out and running away, the man immediately just starts trying to fire shards of glass at the heroes. As he's doing this, All Might could just simply punch through them, as he is telling the man that he just needs to calm down, and in fact, that he is fine. You just need to turn yourself in. Deku would see this going on, and he immediately just says that he has an idea. As he immediately just... He immediately just swaps to air, and he just starts holding his hand up. He brings both of his hands up, actually somewhat creating a ball, as he holds it in his hand, and he throws it at the man. As Alma would see him do this, Deku would immediately see as whenever the ball hits the man, it immediately just bursts into a giant explosion of air. This would surprise Kendo, as she didn't even know that that could happen. Deku would just say that he's been trying to learn a lot about physics and stuff like that to actually improve how the quirk, how he uses the quirks, or how he uses the conduits. All that actually makes sense. Yeah, kind of like how the electric conduit I use actually helps me glide on glide on power lines and actually turn myself into electricity. Really? Well, yeah, it's very simple. Now then, as Deku is saying that. He would immediately just rush in, grabbing the X Sphere, taking it from the man. People were cheering until they saw that Deku, he actually uses a conduit. This is when they start shouting that get that thing away from the conduit, he's gonna do it, he's gonna awaken more. And people just keep shouting and shouting at Deku. Deku would immediately just hand it over to All Might, as All Might would say that this boy, even though he's a conduit, he did a very good job. So, do not confuse this for him being a terrorist. He is actually a hero. People would somewhat be concerned by what All Might said, but they would accept it as they actually somewhat start cheering Deku on. Now then, while that is going on, let us cut to a... Hmm... Deku would eventually be brought in to question the man and get the glass ability, along with Deku actually <sighs> meeting and seeing some things that were different this time. He sees exactly a part, well, he sees basically like, hmm, what he sees is he sees the man actually handing the man next to her, saying that 
He needs to go here, and this will happen. He will awaken an ability, and whatever he awakens will be very useful. But it is a bit weird. The man will just ask how weird, and the guy will just say that it's random. Whatever you're close to, you will awaken. As Deku immediately sees all this, he would have the glass ability, and he would start training with it a bit. As he does so for the next couple months, he would master ice, well not, no not ice, he would master air, and somewhat get a good hold on electricity. Now then, I'm going to put all these parts together and see how much time I have. So, please give me a minute. Alright, so now we have about a year before the anime. And let us begin. People are talking about, well, not a year before the anime. Yeah, actually I do. People are talking about what they're going to do. And people are just thinking that heroes would be very cool, but certain people don't have the right quirks. Along with Deku, Bakugo, and everyone else actually wanting to train more. All Might would actually put them on a very, very cool... Not cool, but... Someone like the American Dream Plan, but... He'd actually have it to be where they can all properly use their physical abilities. So, he would start out with weight training... Well, weight training and a lot of different abilities. Basically, like... Kendo being able to use weights to actually help increase her ability to use her quirk better. Along with... Todoroki actually getting basically quirk training from his dad, along with Deku and Bakugo actually putting strain on their bodies. Now then, uh, let's cut around to the start of the anime. So, everyone's in class, and people are talking about what they want to do. Everyone's saying that they all, all want to be heroes, and in fact, this is one of our Deku and Bakugo. And a lot of other people would actually stand up, saying that they're going to be heroes, and they're going to strive to be the best. In fact, they all plan on being some of the top heroes. People are watching this as, they just think that the hybrids and the conduit, that's pretty laughable, but Bakugo, they could actually see it being a real thing. However, his whole arm, that can be... Salt was just a support item. Seeing as they think, oh, there's explosions, all you need to do is just get like a giant cannon or a gun and just strap it to the end of that thing. Now, as they're thinking this, Deku would just say that he can see himself being one of the top heroes because as he immediately just absorbs in the glass in the window, he immediately just creates a refraction of light, where the light refracts off of the illusion, and a deco appears on the other side of the room. Basically, he's able to refract the light by turning his body into glass, so he can actually move invisibly. Basically, this is my alternative, alternative to video. Now, along with that, <sighs> Deku, he also does do one thing. He actually does proceed to start going home. He's going home and he's actually thinking about how he can train his abilities because this is where things get challenging. As he's sliding on the top of the electric wires, he immediately hears something and he comes down. As soon as he hears it, this is when Rodeku would see as the great burst open, and this is whenever the sludge villain does try to attack him. Deku accidentally just lets off an, an electric missile. Basically, as soon as he sees the villain, out of reaction, he brings his hand up and he fires. As soon as he does so, the entire tunnel is lit up with electricity, and everything that is metal immediately just gets struck by it. Basically, all the rebar and stuff inside the concrete immediately just resonate with what Deku just did. 
Shocking, you're actually knocking out the villain. As All Might would say, have no fear, for I am... Oh. Hello, young Midoriya. I see you already took care of this. Uh, well, yeah, is this guy a villain? Because I think I just fried him. Uh, well, he is. He is. Don't worry. Well, anyways. So, when will you and everyone be coming by the facility later? Oh, well, I was planning on going home to study. Okay. Well, then. <sighs> that does make sense. So, what exactly have you been able to do? Well, I've gotten a good grasp on neon, smoke, boulder, and air, but my glass ability is somewhat weird. What do you mean by glass? Oh, um, don't you remember a couple months ago? Or four, yeah, four months ago. You took out that one villain that used a conduit, or turned into a conduit. Oh, yes, now I remember. <sighs> Sorry. Been a little bit of a workout today. As all my Emily just boffs down. As he sips some water, finishing off, he would immediately start scooping up the sludge villain. Basically, I want to say all my would at least carry a giant water bottle. So he just puts the sludge villain in there, sealing it up. Now then, he immediately just says that, I guess I'll just be seeing you then. As he begins walking away. Basically, he's walking away because this bottle that I feel like if the number one hero would use it would have to be very, very strong and reinforced. So, that villain ain't getting out there anytime soon. Now then, that is where I'm going to be leaving things off of, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And we are starting to get into the anime. Anime. My voice just stopped on me for a minute. Hmm. Alright, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have an amazing day. I will catch you guys later.